On April 12, Rafi Hovanisian convened to the meeting in Freedom Square, during which he reassessed the events of April 9. Despite the heavy rain and despite much public frustration with the course of events on April 9, several thousand people had gathered in Freedom Square. Whoever was with the people, and I didn't appreciate him, I apologize to them. No one, whether a party member or not, can blackmail our people, because our people are victorious. I demand the arrest of not only Artur Ghazarian, the policeman who beat Armen Mardirosian, but I'm also asking their commanders to resign. Rafi Hovanisian's wife, Armenuhi Hovanisian, also took the podium to talk about what happened on April 9. Allow me to disagree with Rafi on this, because those kids were not to blame. Their eyes were more frightened than mine. They were more scared and more unhappy. When I saw tears in the eyes of a young policeman, as a mother, I felt great sorrow that those kids were forced to do something they didn't want to do. Other political activists also took the podium. When the leader is not hiding behind black walls, not hiding someone's back, but stands in front of the people, with the members of his family, the members of his team, he was leading the way. A leader like him might make mistakes. He might fall back for a second, but a leader like him never falls down. A leader like him always stands tall. A leader like him will lead us to victory. Rafi Hovanisian didn't reveal any details of his visit to Moscow the previous day. He announced that his next meeting will take place on April 19. All this followed two days of quiet after the eventful inauguration day of April 9, when incumbent president Serge Sarkisyan and opposition candidate and heritage party leader Rafi Ovanisyan held their separate presidential inaugurations. Former Armenian President Robert Kocharyan and Nagorno-Karabakh Republic President Bako Sahakyan, along with foreign delegations and representatives of several diplomatic missions in Armenia, attended the ceremony, which was held in the Garen Demirjian Sports and Concert Hall in Yerevan. In his inauguration speech, Sarkisyan said he will focus on emigration, unemployment and poverty. Meanwhile, opposition candidate Rafi Ovanisian held his own inauguration in Freedom Square. Reuters estimated the number of his supporters who were present at over 12,000, including a large number who had traveled to Yerevan from outside the capital, and students protesters who staged a strike on the same day. At around midday, Rafi took what he called the citizen's oath. In his speech, Rafi Hovanisian said that the president and the Catholicus must resign. In the evening, Hovanisian marched towards Bagramian Boulevard, which was blocked by the Red Berets and policemen wielding shields and batons. Hovanisian tried to push his way through the police and get physically accosted. Armen Martirosian, the Heritage Party's candidate for Yerevan mayorship and party vice president, gets hit on the nose and in the face by police, who first arrest him, then take him to the hospital. Later that day, Hovanisian's march continued toward the Armenian Genocide Memorial Zidarnagabert, accompanied by Armenia's chief of police, while protests continued on Bagramian Street and Freedom Square. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir.